We got eggs, cheese, crispy hash brown, and bacon jam, all wrapped up in the tortilla. It's toasted a bit. And we have my favorite breakfast of all time. Teammates, in my opinion, breakfast should be a pretty easy thing you can make. I mean, let's be real, when you're up in the morning, you're slow, you don't... Life is hard, right? And especially me, I don't eat breakfast most of the time, but when I do, it's because I'm hungover. This breakfast burrito, breakfast wrap, whatever you want to call it, regardless, it's delicious things inside of a tortilla. Like, you can't really go wrong. This, in my opinion, pretty easy. The only thing that takes some effort in a long time, which you can definitely do ahead, is the bacon jam. The bacon jam is the star of the show here. It's jam made out of bacon. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. It's caramelized onions and bacon. And we add a bunch of cool other stuff to make it taste really awesome. But that's kind of what it is. We are going to use it in this breakfast wrap, but you can use it in other things like mac and cheese grilled cheese sandwiches. I've put it on pasta before and I didn't hate it. How could I forget? You can spread this on burgers too. You can get pretty crazy with this. So let's go through the ingredients first. We're gonna do the bacon jam and that lasts for weeks in the fridge. And when you are going to make breakfast, you can make this pretty fast. Obviously you need bacon. Just 12 ounces here. Try to get thick cut. My ratio has usually been pack of bacon. I do two onions. And you can vary that depending on how bacon-y you want it or how like jammy you want it. This is the ratio that I I typically follow and it works well for me. Then for spices to give it a bit more flavor, I got, what the hell is this? Oh, a little cayenne pepper for a tiny bit of heat. You can totally omit this if you don't like to have things spicy. What's this? Oh, cumin. Cumin? Cumin. Cumin? Cumin. Cumin. Whatever it is, it's delicious. We're gonna add only about like half a teaspoon, I'd say. Same with the thyme. And honestly, you don't need to have these three spices. If you have them, awesome. If not, it's still gonna taste amazing. I mean, it's bacon and onions. Like, are you kidding me? We'll do half a teaspoon-ish out of all of these. I have four tablespoons of brown sugar. So this is where you kind of play with it to see like how sweet do you want it. I don't like mine overly sweet, but I don't like mine overly meaty. So I try to go down the middle here. What we're gonna do is gonna start off with four tablespoons of brown sugar. If that's not sweet enough for you, then you're gonna use some syrup to adjust the sweetness according to your taste. Now, be careful though, you start adding in too much sugar, your bacon jam becomes very sticky. I'd say max, you go four tablespoons of this and four tablespoons of this. Any more than that, you start to get into some weird shit and I am not responsible for anything that happens after there. Planning on not using too much of this and you do need some acidity. So I have rice wine vinegar. Actually, the most ideal would be apple cider vinegar, but I do not have that right now and I'm a bit too lazy to venture out. So I'm gonna use rice wine vinegar today. We'll use two tablespoons of that. So I totally think it's worth the extra work to just make this. It's really not that hard to make it. It just takes a while. It's a pretty low effort thing in my opinion. Oh, I forgot the garlic. We got four cloves of garlic. We're gonna cook that along with our onions. So that's the bacon jam piece of it. So the actual breakfast wrap, it's pretty simple. Two eggs. We're gonna scramble them, shred some cheese on top. Oh, shit. How did I forget? I forgot about the really fun part. How could you, brat? Hash brown patties from Trader Joe's. These are amazing. I think Tarjay might have them too. If you don't have hash brown patties, you can just use normal hash browns. But I like these hash brown patties because when I'm making breakfast in the morning, I can just throw this in the oven and I'm good. But we're going to air fry it because we want it very crispy. And then just get yourself some large flour tortillas. It doesn't have to be anything sexy. So this is the order of operations. Pay attention, ladies and gents. We got tortilla, eggs, cheese, hashy brown, bacon jam, wrap her up, toast it on the skillet, and then you put it in your face hole. But if you have a Dutch oven, that's going to probably be your best bet today to make bacon jam. It retains heat very well. A pot will work too. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. Dice the bacon. The finer you go, the faster it will cook. But what I do with each strip is I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise and then I'm gonna start dicing. Once that is all diced up, I'm gonna put that directly into the Dutch oven and then from there, turn it on to medium heat. For me, this is the best way to cook bacon because it kind of slowly renders the fat out of the bacon. While it's coming up to heat, we're being efficient here. You're going to dice up your onion 
onions as well. And same thing, the finer you dice it, the faster it will caramelize. Put that in a separate bowl. But then we're just gonna go ahead and mince the garlic straight in here. You are totally fine using pre-minced garlic. So once the bacon is completely cooked, you're going to remove all of it and put it on a paper towel lined plate to let it drain. So you're gonna see in your pot that there's gonna be a lot of leftover grease. We only want about two tablespoons of it. So you're going to remove some of that grease using a paper towel to soak some up. Put your caramelized onions in. We're gonna reduce the heat to medium low. So we're gonna cook the onions until they're completely caramelized, right? They're gonna be brown. That will take anywhere from like 50 to 60 minutes. So just set a timer for 50 minutes. Just see where the onions are at at that time. Now, once you get to that point, Point where you're good with the onions go ahead with the vinegar you're gonna cook until the liquid reduces by about half so once that's done you're gonna add pretty much all of your spices and your sugar and you're just gonna stir and mix well and then at this point we finally add the bacon back into the pot cook it down for another five minutes until you get like a jam like consistency we're gonna turn off the heat you're gonna let it cool if you want a smoother consistency throw in the food processor and pulse it until you get to wherever you want okay there's no right and wrong here it'll stay fresh up until four weeks. So the bacon jam is done. My hash browns instructions say 400 degrees for 14 minutes. To convert from conventional oven to an air fryer, I take 20 degrees off and I reduce time by two minutes. It's going to be 380 degrees for 12 minutes. Now while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and shred my cheese. After your cheese is grated, you're gonna warm up your tortilla. So put your skillet on about medium heat. Throw your tortilla in for about 10 seconds on both sides, just until it becomes a little pliable. So take it off, put it to the side. Then we're gonna crack our eggs, beat them up really well, and then we're just gonna pour them in, add a pinch of salt. Try to keep it all as like one piece if you can. Get all the eggs around to the same size as a hash brown patty. That way it's gonna make it easier to wrap and fold. But not a big deal if you can't do that. Lay out your tortilla, put your eggs on the bottom, put your cheese, then your hash brown, spread on a good helping of bacon jam, and then you're just gonna wrap this all up. And we're gonna go back to the pan, make sure you wipe it out from any of the eggs. You don't need to use any oil at this point. Put it seam side down onto the pan and let it toast for like three three to four minutes. From there, you're gonna flip it another three or four minutes, and then you are done. And prepare to experience something fucking sweet. Holy effing ass. Here we go. Man, I'm excited for this. Cheese melted, we got the eggs, got the crispy hash brown and bacon jam. My mouth is watering. Three, two, one. Hmm. That bacon jam adds a lot of flavor without it being overpowering. It's the reason why I didn't make it overly sweet. In fact, I use no maple syrup at all. Gotta use some hot sauce, obviously. Just, you know, just making sure it's good, you know, for science. Yes, science! I don't want you guys eating crap, you know? Stop it. Mmm, fuck. Let me know in the comments section, is this a wrap? Or is this a burrito? Or does it not matter? Is it a vehicle for deliciousness? Yep, that's all that matters. What is it about wrapping things in tortillas? Like, why is it so good? And speaking of wrapping things in tortillas, Mr. Sean Donnelly, I got the Korean burrito coming. I don't know how soon, but it'll come. Can I eat this one bite? Okie dokie, Dr. Jones, hold on to your potatoes. Wow. Wow, we. So there we go. My breakfast burrito, breakfast wrap, whatever it's called. I'm calling it a burrito. If it's a wrap, then so be it. Thank you so much for watching. This episode was, it was kind of tough for me to film because I think I'm getting a little sick and plus all the crap that's happening in the world. At the time of this recording, there was a terrible, terrible murder of, of eight people in Atlanta. And as an Asian American, you know, seeing that type of hatred towards other human beings based on the ethnicity is, is alarming and outright depressing. This channel cooking this type of food makes me forget about all of that, even if it's just for a couple minutes. And so that's what food means to me and hopefully these videos can do the same to you. And that's my goal with this channel is to brighten up your day in the world filled with a lot of BS. You know, if, if it means that I need to make this type of food and shove it down my mouth, twist my freaking arm, I'll do it and I'll forget all about it. Thank you for the support. Making these videos is a ton of fun for me. On a lighter note, please like the video, comment on what other recipes you wanna see, and uh, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hiya. Oh shit, I missed. <laughs> okay, bye.